Right, Joseph, big moment pre-season uh, as co-captain of the Maori All-Stars. In your shoes, how moving was the haka? Co-captain was like the biggest part of my career, really, up to date. Um, and doing the haka every time, um, you know, when you're doing the, the practice and then compared to what you do in the actual one, it's a whole different level. You know, the goosebumps you get in that, it's different. Really. Plenty of people who saw it, though, called this if you can describe a walk right, the best ever. It was it was just so passionate, so emotional. Yeah, a lot of it went into our camp from day one when we got in. Um, he talked to us about what it meant and, and we talked about where we are from and a lot of that passion came through in our haka. The actual war cry at All Stars, what that meant to you? Yeah, it was awesome to be a part of, especially um, Latrell and Cody came up to me at the start of the week saying we want you to be a part of it. And at the start I was kind of like, oh. You know, didn't know to ask for a signature or, or whatever off those guys, but then <laughs> once they, um, you know, told me that to be a part of it, then it made me feel welcome and for something um, for me to do for, you know, that's our speaking group, the Yugen Bear language. So to be able to go up the front and, and represent where I'm from and our, and our nation was pretty special. <laughs> It's an enormous performance, the energy that goes into it. Yeah. No, it definitely is one of those moments where, you know, we sort of draw on each other. Um, you know, it's a special moment for us. It's, you know, symbolises we're going to war and, you know, going to war with your brothers. So, you know, we feed off each other in that moment and, you know, we deliver it how, how, how we did. Does it all hit you, that big, like you, in that moment? Family, heritage, background, the jersey, all these things? Yeah, when, you, when you're walking out and you're sort of building up into it, you're reflecting on where you've come from and who you're representing and all the obstacles that you've faced and all that kind of stuff relating to your culture. And then it's just um, just being, being a fierce warrior up the front and representing your people, so, yeah. Part of it is respect. The haka is performed as well, staring down that. What's that moment like? Yeah, it's um, obviously it's pretty intimidating just standing there the way that they do their haka and to see someone like Paddy Herbert who's from our club, you know, he's very quiet around the place and to see him be one of the first guys out there representing his people was, um, you know, it was quite eye-opening and, and it was very intimidating. So um, I think what they do and what we do sort of balances it out. 